Hello everyone, welcome to Technology Begins. In this video, we will see Introduction to Programming in C, Assignment 5, NPTEL. Questions. So, let's see Question 1 of Assignment 5. So, in this question, we need to uh, look this uh, requirements. So, this requirements is basically we have to uh, we have to find the number if that is odd number then we have to find the another number by performing this operation and if we get that particular number after doing this thing then we again need to call this function and we need to call this function until we get the one from that function and whatever result we will get by this operations that we need to print out so for example if we our input is 7 and that input is taken by our function and if that function is returning us 22 then we have to print 22 this 11 34 like that so here is our program so we have created one function and here is our main function so we are taking the input from our main function okay and then we are calling the new our function and in that function we are uh, checking if that number is 1 then we are simply returning 1 and if that number is greater than 1 then we are checking if that number is odd then uh, we performing this operation 3n plus 1 and if number is even then we are performing n by 2 okay so according to this you will get your output let's compile and run our test cases are passed and let's submit it so as you can see all the private test cases are passed let's see question number two so in this question what we need to do is we need to find out the Fibonacci series and also we need to check whatever input is given to us another input is given to us and we need to subtract it from Fibonacci series element okay and we need to go until we get minimum value from that subtraction okay so for example if we are we have only input of f of n n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 okay so on we have only these two inputs like 1 and 1 so we need to find out next element from 1 and 1 according to the fibonacci series that is 2 okay and we need to start from the second element okay from this one so if we are uh, subtracting this 1 minus 6 and we need to take absolute value then we will get 5 okay and what will be our next Fibonacci series element which will be 2 so we need to subtract that uh, 2 minus 6 okay so that will give us the 4 so uh, earlier we get 5 and now we got 4 so that 4 is less than 5 okay so we go further in our fibonacci series and we will go till the we got minimum distance and if we got the number which is maximum then we we will stop okay so when we need to stop so let's compare it and see over here so first of all we are 1 minus 6 we got the 5 after that we got 2 minus 6 that is 4 4 is basically less than 5 so we continue into our fibonacci series so 3 minus 6 which is 3 so which is less than 4 right so we 
continue to our Fibonacci series for subtraction so after that we will do 5 minus 6 which is 1 which is also valid so basically 1 is less than 3 and after that there is an 8 and we are uh, subtracting that 6 from 8 then 8 minus 6 is 2 then 2 is greater than 1 so we need to stop from that that element okay so that is our termination condition so let's see an example of it so here is the code for that we have taken the first two element of the input series and the positive integer to that which we which we need to subtract it from our Fibonacci series element okay and then we have called our function and we have checked all the scenarios which we have discussed okay I hope you have understood this and let's compile and run and submit it so now all test cases are passed let's see the question number three so in this question number three we need to find out the reverse string of input string okay so whenever we got zero that basically ending of our string so let's see our program so we have basically done the recursive way of getting our reverse string of our input string okay so this is basically a simple program of that let's compile and run and submit it so all test cases are passed so i hope you have understood the assignment questions solution and our assignment is now completed thank you